Hey guys, uh, it's that Canadian guy, and welcome back to another episode of Life is Strange. I hope um, this episode we should be finishing up episode 3, and last episode we just received this SMS from Kay, so now we're going to jump right back into it. Thank, as always, thanks for stopping by guys, and I hope you enjoy today's video. It's like when we were kids here. Oh, is it? Like when you were kids, eh? Did she wake and bake when you were kids? Oh yeah, we can get a photo in the cool clothes. <laughs> the blue jay! Tweet tweet! It's the bird I saved from like the first episode. I can brush my hair. You know, I haven't gone through a dyeing my hair blue phase yet. Maybe it's time. Wash my face. It feels so good yes, to wash my yes. face after all that chlorine and hiding. Sure, let's brush my teeth. I mean, I brush my teeth. What's after ironic I... is I always hated it when Chloe used my toothbrush. <laughs> <laughs> Ten seconds of brushing. That's all you need, apparently. Uh, towel. Chloe has had this damn dirty pirate towel since we damn were kids. Damn dirty apes. <laughs> Serious flashback. No way. That's the bluebird I saved Monday in Joyce's room. I told ya. Alright, let's check out. Can I go in here? Oh yeah, I can run. Almost I forgot. Nobody in this town has a fucking clue as to what's happening. Or do they? Or do they? Let's look out the window. For everybody else in the neighborhood, it's just another morning. But for me, I kissed a girl and I <laughs> I better not go in there. David might be in bed. He might be naked. Ew. Ew. Mm -hmm. that booty on Joyce. Leaflet. This might be the one time these people are right. The end is now. Are you still ignoring his warnings? Do you feel the snow? Witness the eclipse. Seeing the dying animals. The signs are upon you. Arcadia Bay is the final battleground for Pazuzu. Isaiah 66, 15-16. For behold, the Lord will come, at, will come in fire, and his chariots like the whirlwind, to render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire. For the Lord will execute judgment by fire. Save your soul today. Repent. And get a free cookie. <laughs> Join the Church of Final Revelations this month. Get a free, free dis <laughs> dispension from hell. Watch us on Arcadia Bay Public Access Channel 40. Fuck off. Hanging up for that bullshit. Photos. <sighs> Joyce. Let's look around first. Answering machine. David, this is Officer Corn. Just want to let you know your stepdaughter's car was identified. Yeah, I, obviously they were gonna. The Blackwell campus last night, around the time of the break-in. What? Give me a call soon. Are you in trouble again, Chloe? Don't you sleep? I'm gonna uh, rewind the fuck out of that. Let's erase. Message deleted. Goodbye, message. I think Chloe has earned a break from all this bullshit. I thought Joyce was gonna hear them. Be like, oh, yeah, sure. I thought there is something out there. Is that just the swing from last time? I can't sit down and talk about the stains. Bottle. Who drinks beer this early around here? Oh man, I don't want to be famous for this. Superhero and saves suicidal Blackwell student. Well, the news is just. Fucking asshole, isn't it? I keep expecting to see the sky turn red. Ooh, that's a nice breeze. I love that they still have the same refrigerator. Me too. Corn. Wow, Chloe still eats the same cereal. So do I. What's Joyce look like? Joyce looks so different in her street clothes. Look at that fucking booty, guys. I want to go outside. Yeah, it has an auto close feature. It's the uh, sliding doors of the future. Bird. 
Oh, it's dead. Ooh, dead bird. Poor thing. That's what the freaking church thing was talking about. Because I saw... What the... I wonder how these birds died. Temperature. Global warming. Will it be anything new? I remember when Chloe and me would take turns in the swing. We would push each other so hard we'd fly way up in the air. Chloe always wanted to swing all the way around. Mm, I I wanted to do that. I too. always got scared and would jump off before I flew off. <laughs> I love jumping off. And from Chloe the swing. is still trying to get high. <laughs> Good music. Let's look at dead birds. Three dead birds <laughs> lined up? <laughs> That's fucking ominous. So fucking ominous. Oh, I hear thunder. Anything in the little. No. No. Let's talk with my girl Joyce, unless I can go in the old garage garage. No, I can't. Oh. Look. Oh, look at the poor bird. He seems kind of freaked out. I open the window so if I scare him, he should. Bird, just... be gone! Fly, you fool! Okay, the window's open, so he should just fly. Can I get a photo? Oh, look at the poor bird. Right. He seems kind of freaked out. Hey, I'm a smart one. Don't drop dead on me. Let's go get the photo. It's gotta be a photo. I mean, what was that? what else would have been the point of that? Ta -da I love how the shirt's ripped. It just shows how old it is. Good morning, Joyce. Rachel! Uh, I, I oh. mean, Max. Oh, you startled me. Well, you fit those clothes well. Thank God you're not a hellraiser like her or Chloe. Rachel. Well, tell me exactly what you want to chow on. <laughs> Dead ass. Eggs and bacon. Eggs and bacon all the way. Remember when you guys would sleep in until I yelled out, Wakey, wakey, eggs and bakey. Totally. We'd wake up so fast. So this time you can help me with the ingredients. I need no. you to grab me the actual eggs right, and cool. the bacon. Fuck, I should just got her in my pancakes. I can handle eggs and bacon. Oh, open. Where's the eggs at? And the bacon. I should evolve and become a vegan, but huh, bacon. All right. Well, let's just go back inside and have pancakes. Okay, I already got the. I stole your morning, bacon, Joyce. Joyce. Pancakes, please. I'm dying for some of your famous pancakes. I thought I you would have missed syrup. those. Gotta have your syrup uh, you on more everything. Than William. I would have had it on the friggin' bacon and eggs too. <laughs> I remember, we would race each other to grab them from a stack. So this time, you can help me with the ingredients. I need you to grab me the eggs and milk. <laughs> eggs and milk? No problem. No, eggs right here. The eggs always come first, as Joyce used to say. Where'd the milk be? That cereal? On the table? It was on the table. Now for the mother's milk. Okay. I can have everything. Thanks. I gave her everything. After all these years and everything that's happened, it's great to see you and Chloe together again. Am I gonna have? She hasn't had a good friend since you or Rachel. Oh, those clothes remind me so much of her. Such a sweet girl. Yet you called her a hellraiser. I'm just hoping she's living large in L.A. I'd love to think that too, Joyce. But we are on the same page, Max. I keep hoping that Rachel will show up or even send a message to Chloe from Hollywood. Or wherever she is. 
Why would Rachel be mad at Chloe? You know? Rachel's in trouble. I hate to even think this, much less say it out loud, but I think Rachel is in serious trouble. I know. I watch those awful true crime shows, and it makes me ill if I think about Rachel ending up on one. So I don't think too much. I see why Chloe is so obsessed with finding her. <laughs> Max Caulfield, are you actually jealous of Rachel? I'm so jealous. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. Rachel was so much cooler than me. <laughs> you think? Then why has Chloe been telling me she wishes she could be more like you over the past five years? Doubt it. Um, did she really? Five years ago feels like a thousand now. And that makes me what, a century old? <laughs> You're only 18, Max. Oh, you. That's true. Only I could go back. Older it's you not get, all that, Joyce. The more people are kids Voila, to you. a breakfast fit for us queens. And a king. <laughs> go sit at the table. Oh no, is he gonna eat with us? Well, I guess that's fine as uh well, as long as nothing too bad happens. I did delete the message, so there's only three chairs. Wakey wakey. <laughs> Peanut butter. I'm glad that's creamy and not crunchy. I guess uh, nobody waters the plant here. Either is fine with. Oh man, Joyce, you got. Thank such you a nice so much, body. Joyce. I'm never leaving this table. Good, you can More clean. More syrup, please. More syrup, please. Now that's what I call pancakes. Is Chloe coming down? Cause I can wait for her. Chloe, you coming or what? What the fuck? I could go back in time for no. Let's look at that sweet booty. David's a lucky man. Don't mind me while I eat nothing. Come on, Max. You didn't even eat it all. What the hell's wrong Seeing with you? Seeing you again? Ah, oh, made me remember so much. I know these photos don't measure up to your work, Max. My favorite photographers probably take pictures similar to yours. You make David happy, Joyce. He wants us all to be happy, Max. He's just not great at showing it. No, he an asshole. Uh, David, I don't asshole. think I can rock this outfit like Rachel. You have your own cool style. <laughs> Get your own swag, Max. Your own swag. Wow, sir. I totally remember that day. I'm glad. William took this picture with his instant camera. <laughs> oh, it was the last picture he ever took. He had his card out right after this, and... and oh, it's okay, Joyce. I know, Joyce. I'm sorry. I didn't show you this to be morbid. In fact, I want you to have this. This was no, when my baby was so full of life and light. She was hopeful, positive, and everything she's not today. And this was the last time I ever saw Chloe truly happy. Okay, cut the dog off mid-bark. Did you guys have a bonding session about how fucked up I am? <laughs> it's not always about you. Chloe, please, it's too early to start picking a fight. Feed instead. I'll keep the warden busy while you go peek in the garage. Now stop whispering or I'll know you're talking about me. Stop being so nosy, mother. <laughs> Jeez, I can't do anything around here without everybody getting up in my shit. Oh, come on, Chloe. It's no one morning. can even joke with you. Chloe, you fly off the handle like that. I know. Excuse me, I have to use the bathroom. Sure, run off and pee when you should back me up. Now, who's being paranoid? <laughs> Just listen to yourself. <laughs> Nobody else does. <laughs> She's so great at being a fucking distraction. I do need to get into David's computer. He's gotta be hiding shit. Of course he is. He's a fucking marine. And the security guard. But I look for other shit first. There's nothing else in here. Alright, cool. We just hit up the laptop. Look at his porn history. I bet David has all of his surveillance secrets in his laptop. 
warning. I don't dial 911. No, I shoot. No on shit, sight. it needs a password. How about step douche? Try again. I need more clues. A necklace. A, a necklace. No. Nothing closer. to see here. Best close that. Good girl. Maybe I could try stepdad for the password. No. Chloe, I'm so happy you were born today. Thanks for bringing me into the family. Love stepdad. Padlock? Naturally, David would buy a heavy duty military padlock. I can even see the combination. Seven it might one, be a useful seven password. One. Seven one seven one. Nothing in it. Still just the old security surveillance. Oh, hold up. Chloe can't get another gun now. Unless she steals it back from Frank. Don't need to switch on. Can I, yeah, switch her off, thanks. Huh. Maybe this ID number might work. Too long. I could try the license number for the password. No. Book. Perfect. Looks like David has read this a lot. This has to be it. What did he learn? Oh, I guess not. It's just his Bible. David has been dragging his head around since 2001? <laughs> Obviously, David's parents care about him. That date might be a good password. 0720007. Nope. Cute. Can't picture David driving Joyce around with this on the car. Honk. Just married. Knife. Even David Madsen might be an angel to somebody else. Now the car looks ready to roll. This is a better hobby for David than surveillance. Joyce might as well have wrote, let's get married. It was an honor having you in the diner. Nice to know that gentleman still exists. Love to talk, you, love to talk again with you soon. By the way, the name's Joyce, if you forgot. It might be a face. useful password. 112708. Day they met? Yeah, that's more like for a guy. Because he'll usually forget it. What? Family. <laughs> Score! Max the hacker strikes again. Oh, fucking genius. Whoa. Spoiler alert. Rachel definitely hooked up with Frank. Why does David care? Rachel Lambert profile. Rachel has been cutting class all week. Frank and Rachel meet once again. Rachel avoids her dormitory. Rachel followed Rachel to Lighthouse. Uh, Anderson Barry reporting officer. Incident report. Rachel Lambert, 18, was picked up at 2.35 p.m. at Blackwell Academy for possession of a controlled substance. That was reported by David Madison, head of campus security, who witnessed her trying to hide or secure a suspicious medis medical bag. This officer was called in question Miss Amber who responded with threats and denials her bag was found to contain various illegal pharmaceuticals see attached page instead of stalking Kate David could have helped her Kate M follows same path to every class yeah it's just something you do overheard Kate and Dana talking about supplies for Voltec club party drugs no watch Kate with her church group she knows her Bible <laughs> Kate stays in bathroom longer than not <laughs> Other student drugs? Saw Kate helping Jefferson after class. Don't trust grown men with goatees. Oh yeah. Kate has kept to herself since Vortex Club party. Not even church. Drugs? Tried to talk to Kate about the party. She got upset and ran. Guilty. This is so wrong. Oh, creepy bastard. Max Caulfield profile. Max online aliases. Mad Max. Max Factor. Noir. Angel. He has my schedule? Okay. You weak, creepy fuck. I better tell Chloe about this now. Ugh, it's just one more thing to make her sad. And mad. Yes. 
you said I went to the bathroom, so I gotta come out this door. Hey, oh, what up? Hey, looks. Joyce, what's the matter? What happened while I was gone? David. Nice breakfast. David, you, you back already? I have to take a nap after writing up vandalism reports last night. What happened? Some little shit ass punks broke into the swimming pool. This is what happens at these PC bullshit colleges. Entitled students taking over the campus. Do you know for sure it was Blackwell students? Who else would do it? And I'm gonna bust them. Where are you now, bud? <sighs> Figures you'd be here. Is that your Rachel Amber Halloween costume? You know more about her than me. No. You and Chloe think you know more than anybody. Like all teenagers. Leave Max alone, David. Stop threatening students. He threatens Threaten them with him. surveillance cameras so he can spy on everybody. Like he spies on all of us here. Don't start, Chloe. Not now. Yeah, I'm just always starting shit, right? You're a total paranoid, David. Not now, Chloe. He used to call me a loser for getting kicked out of Blackwell. So who's the loser now, David? Who haven't you accused or harassed? Between your investigations into Rachel and Kate, what have you done besides get in trouble? Oh. Based on the shit, he's so dumb. He thinks he's all the drugs. I have to side with Chloe. David's doing his. Ah! Ah! Oh my god, guys. I'm gonna go with Chloe. Ah, Chloe. You're a bully, David. I saw you harass Kate Marsh when she was going through hell. You could have totally helped her. Everybody at Blackwell is a suspect to you, except for Nathan Prescott. That's why the students and faculty don't like you. You even threatened me. I do respect your service, but you don't respect anybody. Uh, you were smoking pot in Chloe's room. That's illegal. <laughs> so is spying on people in your family and at your work. Why do you have photos of Kate Marsh and Rachel Amber in your files anyway? What? Is this true, Max? Yes, David. Why do you have these files at all? I find this very disturbing. I do not have to take this kind of interrogation. Not from you punks. Maybe you should calm down. Uh oh You're turning on me now, huh? Of course. <laughs> Women always stick together. Uh, well, screw you. David! Uh, you better go to a hotel until we figure this out. You can't kick me out of my own home. It's my home, David. Paid for and in my name. You know the law, right? Oh, I, I thought I knew a lot of things. Like when I'm out flanked. Have a nice day, Chloe. For once, just please shut up. Sorry, David. I hope Joyce doesn't hate me for tearing into David. I don't want to see or hear you again, Max. You've hurt me and my family enough. Have I? Really? Max, don't beat yourself up. David earned this all by himself. Understand? Now where'd my girl Chloe go? I always hate family arguments. It's always so fucking awkward after. Max, that gave me chills. And you better not rewind this one. All right. You know what? The, f the fuck do I do? Oh? Um. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Do I go to her? Oh, yeah. Ron Patrick. Jesus. Leave Chloe's house. Oh, I have to leave her house now. Oh, okay, let's go to school. Listen, Lag when I went through Lord. David's laptop, Sorry. I found pictures of Rachel and Frank being more than friends. <laughs> right, no way, Max. She was just posing to tease Frank. If you're not going to believe me, why don't we check out what Frank has in his RV? Ooh. What's that going to prove? Frank has Rachel's bracelet. 
What else does he have in there? Motherfucker better not have anything for his sake. Motherfucker. Let's check the door. Frank gets so wasted he sometimes forgets to lock it. He's having a nice breakfast. I can't believe you hung out with him. Not anymore. We have to be casual ninjas here. Shipples. Okay, here's the plan. I'll go to the diner and distract Frank by telling him I have his money, but he needs to come with me. Then you come in and rewind so Frank doesn't see me. Then you can tell Frank he needs to check out his RV, and then you rewind after you get the key, and, <laughs> uh, and... <sighs> Chloe, I got this. I'll be right back. <laughs> you make no sense, Chloe. Don't let my epic plan get in the way of yours. I'll try to scrounge up a Scooby snack to distract his mangy mutt. No, it's a dog. He ain't mangy. Now to find a quick and easy way to snag Frank's keys. Locked. Careful, Max. Cujo ahead. Cujo. I hope she finds a nice T-bone to keep the doggies busy. Cop car, fuck. Uh, oh, the old lady's here. I can go talk to her again. She'll probably tell me about dead birds. What is going on here? I don't know. I don't know. Another one? And another one bites us. And another one, another one, another one bites us. Hey, hey. Another bird. This is so creepy. So creepy. What about my drawing? Is it still fucking there? It's still Ew, is. Ew. There's dust on the dust now. <laughs> oh my goodness. Look at all these flyers. It's so sad that nobody will read them. Here's the fisherman we talked to. Maxine, Pop here. I'm sorry I haven't gotten in touch sooner. I know your mom is very proud of you for saving that girl, as am I. I we have no doubt uh, sending you to Black Belt was the best thing you ever demanded we do. It makes us so proud to read that you get the news and see an actual video of you walking down from the roof with that girl. And if you want, come back home and to relax. Maybe go to a high school around here. Doors wide open. Love, Pop. Thanks, Pop. It's been a whirlwind here. I'm not ready to come home yet. Talk later. Maxo, XO. Good morning. How are the fish today? Don't ask. First the snow, then an eclipse. What's next? The tornado? Oh, jeez. Uh, <laughs> I hope not. I hope not. Could be worse. We could get one of those California quakes. True. Well, I'm feeling a little dizzy now. Um, hope you catch the big one today. I better. Too late to switch careers now. <laughs> See you around, kid. It's never too late for anything. Trev? Oh, trucker. That would be cool to be a trucker for a while. Always on the road. Hey, how's it going? Peachy. Interview over. Alright, bud. Worst interview. Worst interview ever. Work is dried up around here, and I have bills to pay. Time is money to a guy like me. That sucks. Wish I could drive right out of Arcadia Bay. Whole town is crumbling. Snow, eclipse, and a slut trying to commit suicide. <gasps> Maybe you should leave then. What if I could? And even that shifty Rachel What's-Her-Face asked me once if I'd drive her to Los Angeles. You knew Rachel Amber? Can you tell me about her? Nope. Christ, why don't you get a real job instead of homework? I'd love to see you Blackwell turds try to drive my 1977 Needham 18 wheeler out there. Like I said, interview over. Well, let me uh, go back in time because you're a fucking asshole. Talk about your hey, truck. How's it go? Peachy. 1977 Actually, Needham? I wanted to ask if that's your bitch in 1977 Needham 18 wheeler out there. How the hell did you know that? Uh, Blackwell class, Rachel Amber. My friend Rachel Amber told me about this cool rig in town because I love taking pictures of truckers. You knew Rachel. She sure didn't give a rat's ass about truckers or real work. Oh, so you must have known her too? Only from the diner. She was just a gold digger. She belonged in California with all those you know who know what's. Good riddance. But... You can take pictures of my truck anytime. Take care. <laughs> uh, 
Thanks, bud. I'm gonna snap a quick photo. Can't go that way. Let's go this way. Another fuck. Oh my god. So ominous. That's giving me the fucking DVD. Like the feeling of bugs on me. I got it. No, not talking, looking at it. Fuck off. I'm gonna talk to this wonderful lady right here. Hi, how are you? I remember you. I remember you. I heard about that girl almost jumping off the Blackwell roof. Kate. Kate Marsh. I was able to actually talk her down from the roof. That was you? Well, if I had a bottle, cheers. Cheers. Thanks. Wish I had a bottle for you. But I need to find out who else is involved in this. I'm probably a bigger snoop than you. People pretend to not see me. Mm -hmm. So I see everybody. And Good. everything. Tell me about Nathan. Including Nathan Prescott? That spoiled shit just has a bad aura, as we used to say. He also drugged the girl who tried to jump. Sounds like you know a lot more than me, child. Sounds I just like think Arcadia Bay just is hasn't in been trouble. You. Maybe you'd like to tell me what you're hiding. Oh, shit. Sure. I feel like I can trust you as much as Chloe. And you wouldn't think I'm crazy. Too late for me to judge anybody. Plus, you're not crazy. I'm just gonna say this. I had a vision of Arcadia Bay being destroyed by a tornado. For real. Could be. Bad mojo is in the air this week. Thanks for the warning, Max. <gasps> you remembered my name. I hate seeing old women on the street like that. Thanks for that storm warning, Max. And, uh, I'll let you know if I find out anything. Thanks. Nothing back here like last time. Well, let's get back and head inside. Distract Frank, steal the keys. Look at that. It's so sad and disturbing and beautiful at once. What if tornadoes, snowfall, Blue Jay, eclipses, no. now dying animals? Holy, Holy shit. shit. We sink. Good lord, bacon. I'm ready to nosh again. Oh, but <laughs> The poster doesn't mention whacked students with guns. Kate should have jumped. You should have jumped, ass wipe. Fuckers. Shit. Seven sign is seeing What are the other signs then? Being sty because of it. Oh yeah, Warren. Uh what the Okay, it's officially sold out, but I managed to get us both tickets. Had to fight a dozen bullies off from the freaking nerds. <laughs> You'd never know how weird this town is by these postcards. Copper. Never mind me, officer. I'm just here to steal a drug dealer's keys. Nathan. Nathan and Frank together? That's a bad combo. Can't drop any tunes right now. Keys. Drop some sick nasty beats. <laughs> Forgot about the fishing wall of fame. Looked at that already. Looks tasty, but my need for keys comes first. All right, keys, 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 do. Frank Bauer stars in A Face Full of Beans. Turn up the brain to 11, Max. How can you snag Frank's keys? Hey, Frank. You have serious balls, little girl. Yeah, but I hanging out with Chloe, playing with guns, and dressing up like Rachel doesn't make you cool or tough. What the fuck do you want? Take a picture of me and I'll break your fucking camera. How do you know these are Rachel's clothes? Because she looks beautiful in them and you look like ass. You're lucky I just took that gun from you. 
grab your keys and let's check out your RV. Let's not. You fucking <laughs> creep me out. In other words, Max, no keys. Maybe I could chat up that officer, or even Nathan, and then go all Groundhog Day on them until I get the info I need. You want to talk on the cop? There she is, Super Maxine. That's your new nickname around the bay. It's all right, but you did earn it. We're all real proud of you for helping Kate down. Thanks, Officer Barry. I was just lucky. And right on time. Kate is who counts. I'm glad you're representing Black Bull Academy. I guess Kate Marsh will be the face of Black Will for a while. And you for helping her. <clears throat> that's the kind of school spirit we need more of. Yeah, that's right. Uh, Nathan, please. I thought Nathan Prescott represents Blackwell. Well, don't make me backwash this bacon. You know what the <laughs> Prescotts represent. Taking over Arcadia Bay? You're not far wrong, Max. I heard the Prescotts are working on some new big land deals. Mm -hmm. Mr. Prescott helped out my family once a while ago. So I made a deal with him that I can't seem to get out of. Excuse me. Man, if I could get one instant replay in life. Hmm. <laughs> I better finish my breakfast first. Oh, so now I can talk about that deal he made. There she is. Thanks, Alf. Mm -hmm, I'm glad mm -hmm, you're. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Next, Prescott deal. Well, I heard a rumor you were working for the Prescott family on the side. Jesus, doesn't this town ever shut up? I don't blame you for getting extra work. Look, sometimes I check up on the Prescott family to make sure they're doing all right. Nathan included. Keep this quiet, Max. Of course. Try interrogating somebody else, Lieutenant Caulfield. Nathan. Rachel. Uh, whatever the fuck. Uh, oh, look, he Max really Amber. Is that, that your punk Rachel. rock girl outfit? That was classic watching you turn on your everyday hero Jefferson yesterday. Considering we're in a public diner with a police officer right over there, you shouldn't advertise your rage, Prescott. No worries, because you're the one trying to fake it till you make it. At least you were smart enough to keep your big mouth shut in the principal's office. Mm. Well, let's get more. I bet Frank hooked you and Rachel Amber up with party supplies. Nice try. Rachel partied like a fiend on her own. More than me. I Did doubt she? that. Like you would know, virgin. Even that pig over there knows Rachel hung out more with Frank. I mean, don't talk to the cop about that, dumbass. What the fuck? Why is it slowing down all of a sudden? Thank you. Okay, let's get more info out of I you. I bet you hoped that Kate Marsh would stay quiet. Idiot says what? Did you drug her? You are so stupid, Max. You think you're so goddamn smart, too. Don't push me, girl. You don't want me for an enemy, understand? Do you? Calm down, dude. We're in a diner. Right. Plus, you're an adult now. I can sue your dumbass for libel. Thanks. Now fuck off, dyke. <laughs> Why does it do that? Your father... Your sugar daddy will always protect you. And threaten me. You don't know shit about my father or me. Nobody here does. Then tell me what I should know. Why? So you can pretend to care, hmm? Spoiler alert, he's an asshole. Maybe I could help you. I don't need you for anything except to stay out of my fucking business, understand? Now get out of my face. Go, 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 rewinding time. Rewind, rewind, rewind. Time. Let me get everything out of you. Drug Listen, Nathan. Sale. I'll take back everything I said about you. Huh, if you hook no. me up with Frank. No, know man. Know what I mean? You look like you've never even taken a hit of baby aspirin. How do you think I stay wired all night studying? So is it a deal or not? 
Calm down, hard up. Deal. You know, get your school supplies. Just go over to Frank and whisper higher education. He'll hook your ass up. Thanks. Holy shit, what do you want now? Cops and I heard your dad hired a local cop to keep an eye out on you and Frank Bowers. Like a babysitter. Bullshit. My dad doesn't hire. He owns. And these pigs know better than to knock on me. Do, do they? they? I hope that means Max Frank won't get busted. Eventually he will. Guy's into some freaky shit. He told me once he took a weird blood oath for Rachel. Uh, forget I told you that. Seriously. Uh, now get off my crack, whore. Keep your pie holes shut. Hold. Blood oath. Weren't you supposed to keep your mouth shut about the blood oath Frank took for Rachel? Blood oath? Who? What the fuck? I never told anybody about that freaky shit. Besides, everybody knows Frank is a liar and a loser. Even Rachel did. Yet Rachel Amber hung out with him more than you. Mm. So? Rachel wanted Frank's stash. Did she, she let him take pictures, then he carries around her photo like she posed for love. Dumbass. Hold... Okay. Let's go even further back in time to the cop. Let's talk to the car. Fish. I'm glad. Mm -hmm. Frank and Ra Rachel and Frank. Nathan said that Rachel Amber represents Blackwell with Frank Bowers. Bowers ain't no student anymore. Sadly, he does represent one side of Arcadia Bay. I want you to stay out of his orbit, okay? He man that rabid mutt. I heard something about Frank Bowers and his puppy. That boy does love his dog. Especially when the dog is your personal drooling bodyguard. You can bet he trained that poor thing on blood. Gross. I wouldn't bet. Where did he get the pup? Frank used to bet on dog fights. To his credit, he had a revelation, he saved a bunch of the dogs, kept one for himself. He's still a creep. You and that Chloe stay away, right? Fish. Thank. I'm... Okay, that's everything. I think I just got a bunch of like stuff to talk about Frank with. Ah, <sighs> save dogs. You act so scary, but you did save all those dogs. One, I'm not acting. Two, who told you about the dogs? It's actually a great story. You're an animal lover. Could I pet the doggy? I could go grab him from your RV right now. <laughs> I won't even let you pick up the dog shit. <laughs> Besides, you don't want a leash. You want these keys right here. Look at your eyes dilate. You're worse than a junkie, Max. But no fix for you. Really? I could take the keys right My work front. here is done here, Frank. Let me take the keys, please. I'm afraid I'll have to take your keys now, asshole. You did not just do that. Give me back my keys, bitch. Give me my keys now. <laughs> now, will two sets of keys exist in this time? Key brought. Now back to Chloe. He just doesn't realize it. Alyssa. Me? Alyssa, I have to see you. We're running out of time. Um, Warren. Alyssa, watch out. 
Quit oh. thinking, Max. Warren, you sent me a message. I don't know, Victoria did? I thought you might be ready for your Vortex Club, but after the shit you pulled with Jefferson, no fucking way. You're such an emo queen that you don't want anybody to be going with him to San Francisco. You're giving too much of a pussy to your cliche selfies and one dumb condos. It's all about Max. Even going to the roof was about showing off, not about save Kate. I'm going to make sure nobody at Blackwell is fooled by your woe was Mac at. Get ready. Go fuck yourself, Victoria. Well, on that sad note, we will search Frank's RV in the next episode because that's all the time I got right now so as always I'd like to thank you guys for stopping by I hope you enjoyed today's episode and I will see you guys in the next episode hope you have a great day and <laughs> I guess this is, bye. This is goodbye bye bye <laughs>